guys! So thanks so much for watching today. Um, I'm super excited. I actually took and went through and I have some declutters and some empties in here. So if you guys like to stay tuned, I've got a full, full bag of stuff that I'm going to be um, getting rid of and that I used up. So definitely, if you want to find out what I'm getting rid of, then please continue watching. Okay, so to start it off, I actually am going to be getting rid of the Tartlet Tees palette. Um, I did keep this in my purse for a while, and I did really like it, but they started to get kind of like weird where they got like almost like a weird film over some of the matte shades. So, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna get rid of it. I, I think I'm gonna put my Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 in there instead, so. Um, this Milani lip gloss, it's about halfway empty. This was in Bare Secret. I really, really like this, but I've had it in my purse a while and I knew it was time for it to go, but it's such a pretty nude shade. Next is this NYC. This is a smooth skin pressed face powder and translucent. I just noticed that this changed and it just it just wasn't as good. So I'm going to be getting rid of this. It was in my bag. Next I'm going to be getting rid of the Bare Minerals Mini Bisque Concealer. I have a full size one and this one just came in a little kit and I didn't realize until actually seeing because I really did like this. However, seeing the full size bisque and buying it I think is a lot better than the one that they put in the mini. This powder is a little bit more, it's not so smooth, the one that's in this compared to the real full size one. So. Okay, next I'm going to be getting rid of this Luna by Luna Lip Crayon. It's in the shade Alara. I got this in an Ipsy, and I just, I don't really like this. It's one of those lip colors where it kind of looks like a more muted pink, but then as you wear it, it turns into like that hot pink. Um, I just really don't like it when lip colors do that, so that's going to be a pass for me. Um, I have a boat ton of nail polishes that I have to get rid of because I have a lot of nail polish, um, and I realized it was just time for them to... Uh, I have to declutter some and make some space. So I am going to be getting rid of two Revlon ones. I'm not going to go real into it, but two Revlon ones. I got two of these uh, paparazzi ones. They sell these at CVS. I wasn't a huge fan of these. The colors are pretty, but I mean, it was an okay formula. I absolutely love one of my favorite nail polish brands are actually the Wet n Wild ones. The ones with the, the big, like, little brush. I absolutely love these. I have so many of these in my collection, like almost every color, because they're just so, so good. Um, really recommend these. Um, LVX one, I got it in a boxy charm. It's just like, no matter how much you keep shaking it, it just like won't, I don't know, it just is separated. This is one of my favorite shades from Wet n Wild. This is through the Grapevine. Really recommend it. This is pretty much empty, actually. Oops. All right. Alright, so I have some Milani nail polishes. They're just really old and they're like really a strong smelling nail polish, so they're not my favorite. Um, the LA Colors, I used to really, really like this. However, now I'm not so much of a fan. I find that it takes a long time for it to dry in comparison to the other ones and I'm just not that big of a fan of them. Um, these are some Kiss Gel Strong layer polishes. They're actually pretty good. I just had other colors that were the same and I liked the other formula better, so I kept those ones instead. Um, again, another went wild. They're one of my favorite formulas. It's the Sally Henson, um, Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. These are amazing. Definitely, definitely recommend. I got two Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliners. I just really don't like these. I just wanted to give them a shot because they were cheap, but I just, I really don't like them. Um, I am going to be getting rid of my Bare Minerals little duo here. It's got a matte and a glow side. This is kind of really just glittery, and I don't really see this doing as much. Before, when I was new, more new to like the highlighting and powders, I thought this was good. But now that I have more experience with them, this really just isn't that good. And for the price tag, mm. I'm going to be getting rid of the Revlon Youth Fix. Youth FX? Oh, okay. Um, Fill and Blur Foundation. Just did not like this. Um, it's not good, sorry. Um, and then the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Complexion Perfection. It's, in, it's supposed to be Fair 10. It's supposed to be like a, um, what do you call it, like a tinted moisturizer. This is so dark. I mean, I could mix it, but then there's no point for it to be a tinted moisturizer. So that's just going to go there. I had to get rid of three of these little Maybelline color tattoos. They just kind of dried out, but I really, really recommend and love these. So if you see them and you know you're going to um, love them, definitely, definitely check them out. They're really good. 
these are some foundations that I used up. Um, actually, well, that's, I used up my primer, my Too Faced Primed and Peachy. This is also an empties as well as the, a declutter, but use this. I really love this primer. Um, if you don't want to splurge on a full price, definitely get the mini for 15 I went through the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. Really love this. As well as the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion. Best cushion foundation I've ever tried. Definitely check that out. Uh, these Wet n Wild Lashes. I'm not a fan of these. You guys already know. If you guys are subscribed to my channel. I just really don't like them. Stuff. I went through the Stila Waterproof Liner. Love this. I picked up a full size. Um, this is just the Tarte Sex Kit and Eyeliner. It was actually a pretty good eyeliner. I got it in an Ipsy. Really liked it. Um, did finish up this Kat Von D Locket Setting Spray. Um, it wasn't bad, but I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it again. The Smashbox, um, what is this? This was the Brow Tech Gloss Stick. Wasn't a fan of this. I know it said Gloss Stick, but it was really waxy, and I don't know, it just wasn't a fan. I did finish up this Tardiest, Tardest, whatever you want to call it, Mascara. Um, I got this in a box charm. I actually really, really liked this. It was really good. Rid of two little like elf little eye stiffle brushes. They're in a travel set. I just don't really like these, so those are going. And then I just uh, got a real techniques. I ripped them, used them up, and then um, an old beauty blender. And then this is just my elf little powder poof, but I never found myself using it. So, and then this was just my little brush and my benefit blush. So, all right, I did finish up the Smashbox primerizer, guys. This is so good. Um, probably one of the best primers I've ever tried. I just really, really love this and recommend. So definitely check that out. Um, doo -doo -doo. The Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Really like this, but I will say I like the Stila one a little bit better. But did like it. Um, this is the Winky Lux Eyebrow Pencil again. Got it in a boxy charm. Uh, really like this as well. And I like the like hieroglyphic Egyptian packaging. Uh, next is this, this Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. Um, this is in the shade Lit. This was from uh, Ipsy, but I, honestly, I wore it a few times and it looked pretty, but I saw all this stuff online, and I know that's awful, but I'm just going to not uh, use that because I saw that some people had some like lip problems and stuff, so I'm good on that. Next is this Cargo Eyeliner. I uh, really liked this for a while, but then um, I've had it for too long, and so it started to just keep breaking. Uh, this is a Too Faced Love Flush Brush. Blush? Brush, huh? Um, this is in the shade Baby Love. I actually used it up completely. One of the best blushes ever. It's like the perfect, like, nude blush. I am going to be getting rid of my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white. Only because I really do like the LA Girl one way better than NYX one. Um, no offense, NYX, but I just need to use way less, and it's just beautiful. Um, next I'm getting rid of this ColourPop... Uh, Super Shock Shadow and Ultra Glitter, uh, it's a tassel, that's the shade, it's tassel, but, um, I don't know, when I use this, I, I got, like, little weird bumps, uh, on my eyebrow highlight, because that's why I got it, so, get rid of that. <laughs> I have this Pure, um, Cosmetics, it's just the Sculptor, this came in a boxy charm, but this is way, way, way too dark for me, sadly. Um, I'm gonna give this away to somebody, though, <laughs> because I didn't even touch it, so I'm gonna be giving that away. And then this is the Pure Bronze and Brighten. Oh I swear it's nothing against Pure. I feel so bad, actually. Um, but the, again, these are just way too dark for me. And um, I'm again, I'm going to give it away to somebody that I know will love it. And it will work perfect for their skin tone. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Yay. So those are my empties and declutters. I hope you guys enjoy. Soon I'm going to be filming another declutter, but I'll like film it of me going through and doing all that. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.